Today it's January 15th and it is competition day. I do not want to compete today. Today is the day of Skate Canada Challenge for the senior men's event. Big deal because this is probably going to be our only competition of the year. We're just gonna try to do our best. I'm not gonna lie, I went pretty ham this week. And today being Friday, my body's already kind of, it's on the way down, okay? We've definitely plateaued. Probably not the best choice for competition day, but hey, who cares? Go big or go home. I can't see anything. I am not gonna lie, I am not mentally prepared for this competition at all. Feeling pretty nervous. Gas is expensive. As many of you know, Nationals is canceled. See, I got a lot of sleep last night. It's that time of the week, you know? Friday, it's always a little bit harder of a day. Like right after Nationals got canceled, like we were all worried about Nationals, right? All the skaters were kind of, we kind of had the feeling that it was gonna get canceled. So we were worried about that. Then it got canceled. Then, the next day, there was an announcement made that everything's gonna be closed and that we're going on like a full, like stay at home thing, like full lockdown. So again, we thought, you know what? We're not gonna skate anymore. So the whole issue of nationals was basically a non-issue considering we weren't even, well, we thought we weren't gonna be able to train. Turns out we're still in the safe. We're still able to train. That's why I'm gonna go train today to practice for my competition. Well, I guess this is technically competition practice. So that was the first competition practice. I figured, you know what, we're gonna go extra hard today and do a second one, you know? Completely wear out my legs before the short. I think it's a great idea. Okay, it's the last competition practice for competition. Misha, is there anything, anything I can do to improve my performance today? Yes. What should I do? Train hard. Train hard. Okay, I'm gonna train super you hard. I can change the outcome, <laughs> right? Depending on how I train. That's it, that's the last session for competition. About to seize the moment, or try to. Now it becomes more of a mental game, as opposed to a physical game. That last session before competition is always the toughest one. You just wanna be there, you wanna perform, and uh, yeah. So I'm doing the best that I can to, you know, stay calm, breathing exercises, pace myself, and get ready for the performance. All right, so that's it. My two practices for the day are done. Probably over practice a little bit. That's okay. Hopefully it'll get me more prepped for this competition. I just gotta take a quick nap and then get my costume and get ready to go. And then we're on the races. That's weird. Looks like Skate Canada's calling me. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Oh. Virtual. So so I'm not skating today. A month ago. No way. Oh right. Right, I did that. Right. So you're saying I have, I have, I can't control it. The out, no, out, I can't control the outcome. That's it. It's done. No, no, no reskate. No nothing. Really? No way. You're right. We did that. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, 
We're not skating today. I already skated a month and a half ago, apparently. So I just gotta sit here in the YouTube studio and, and stream the thing. This will be the first time and hopefully the last time I'll ever have to experience this thing. Honestly, this whole experience is really, really difficult for me. As I said in my previous video, I don't remember how I really skated and then it, uh, I said to myself that I wouldn't watch it until after, but I'm gonna force myself to watch it, conquer my own fears. I know it sounds ridiculous, it's already done, you can't change anything, but that actually made it worse. I can't explain how I feel. I never thought I'd feel this way, but I do. And it's something you gotta experience to know. Anyone who did challenge this year will know exactly what I'm talking about. I think we're all pretty well in the same page, or on the same page. I'm supposed to skate in about four minutes, so. Get cozy in my bed, watch it on the big screen, get ready to just watch the whole thing unfold. Like 100% real talk, I'm like sick to my stomach, like I'm almost, Border like I'm nauseous. Like I'm actually nauseous right now. <sighs> hate it. I hate this feeling. It's it's something else. It's something completely different. I don't know. Maybe I should just email Skate Canada and ask, can I come with, can I withdraw? Because I feel terrible. <laughs> I wonder if that's possible. There we go. You might think I'm over exaggerating, but I'm actually not over exaggerating. I'm really like. <sighs> All right. I'm just gonna watch it. Let's see. I'm actually happy that I watched it though. I'm getting my, I'm getting teary myself just watching it. Ugh. I'm happy with what I did for the short. And uh, we'll see what the score is. <laughs> the, I think the worst is past. Like I watched it, so it's the first time I watched it since doing it. I, I liked it. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. The work that we put into that short, like we were doing a lot of work going into it, and I think it showed. There's still stuff I would have changed. Like I'm looking at it, I'm like, ooh, that was weird. Certain movements, certain alignments, things are not the way I want them to be, but that's gonna be stuff we're gonna have to work on. Thing is, I don't even know if I'm actually gonna do this short anymore this season, because <laughs> I'm, I'm planning to get a new program afterwards, so. First time we broke 90 points, my, my thought after I skated, I was thinking I was gonna get around 95. That was the number I was thinking in my head. We got like 94.4, so in the ballpark, so I'm pleased with, with everything. Um, Things I would change, the triple toe wasn't the best. I, I, I'll admit it wasn't the best triple toe I ever did in my life. But uh, the, f the hope is at some point, we're gonna swap out the order a little bit. Hopefully we get two quads in and then that's the long-term goal. I just gotta wait till tomorrow now. No, not even tomorrow because I'm not even virtually competing tomorrow. I'm virtually competing on Sunday. So I have to take a day off of this and then watch on Sunday again. Today's Sunday, the day of the long. I'm predicting I'm gonna be on the ice at around 3.45. What a sentence I never thought I'd say. I'm just sort of carrying on with my usual day of a Sunday. I did my cardio in the morning. Anyway, I'm actually editing this video right now, the one that you're watching. I'm editing right now, distracting myself, trying to get myself. <sighs> this one I know wasn't as good as the short. That's the problem. Is the short, at least I knew I did really well. It's the long, I'm a little bit. Because I don't really remember. It's okay. And I'm telling you guys, I'm really, really, honestly not being over dramatic. This is absolutely how I feel right now. Nauseous, nauseous. My parents are watching upstairs so I can kind of hear the stream. So I'm just putting headphones on as I edit just so I can ignore everything. Shut out the world because I can't handle this right now. Okay, so I'm pretty well almost finished the edit of yesterday before I have to add in, t uh, add in today's footage. It is 3.41, 3.45 I predicted. Um, I can sort of hear what's going on upstairs because my parents are watching upstairs. And I can hear the audio. Um, I think I'm skating next, so in a few minutes, I think I'll, I'll, I'll fire it up and watch. <sighs> I don't know any scores, I don't know what people did, I don't know anything. I'm just sort of going to focus on myself and focus on what I did, right? That's, that's all I can do. I don't need any extra stresses or any extra information, right? The less you know, the better you sleep. Worst experience. This is the worst competition experience of my life. Worst, worst, in terms of just pure mental... <sighs> the nerves are unreal. I'm just pacing here because I don't... I don't have any control over this stuff. This is just the... <sighs>
Bobrovsky first out of his short program. This is this is why I was worried because it's it wasn't that wasn't how I wanted to skate, guys. But that's not that wasn't supposed to be the peak, right? That was supposed to be the first competition of the season. <laughs> not the only competition of the season. I wish I could have redone it. I wish I had nationals to redo it. Damn it. Yeah, uh, another mention, if anyone hasn't seen Roman's professionally edited video of this, they must watch it, uh, his YouTube channel. It's called Romsky. It is magnificent. 167, you see? So we scored, I scored higher at, at Nationals last year. There's definitely a lot of mistakes so there, but it's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> go home, I am home. All right, so that's about it. Um, overall, I guess the short was exactly what I expected. The long was a little bit worse than what I remembered. Still a strong skate nonetheless, so I'm, the thing is, honestly, that is just sort of where I was at at that time. I really wish I had nationals to do it again, but that's okay, we're gonna go home and keep working. And a lot of the stuff that I didn't like with the performance, not that it was a bad one by any means, but just some of the stuff that I noticed, we've already been working on since. We'll just continue on that route and we'll see where that takes us. Just wanna say thank you to everyone who was involved, everyone who helped me get to this position, especially in this COVID year. And uh, hopefully, we have a brighter future. And uh, yeah, thanks to all of you who joined me on this journey from who knows how long. And if you're new to this video, then nice. Come along, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.